<sighs> hey, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. That clip timed out just in time to see me, uh... Uh... Murdered by a man with a pot. Uh, he chucked it right at my face. I caught it full in the face, and it had just enough momentum to knock me off the edge. So that's our third death of the day. We're gonna do 30, and... All right, and so I did 20 push-ups just now, and I can probably, if I really push myself, do 30. But the thing is, if I do that, my arms are going to get super tired, and I need to be able to keep doing these exercises. So I'm going to switch it up and do 10 bicep curls to finish out our 30. Two, three, five, six. Okay. <clears throat> so, that way we're, we're working out multiple muscle groups, which is good by itself. Plus, we don't get too tired, so next time I die, I can do another 20 push-ups. Plus, like, 20 bicep curls, and we can, we can kind of balance out the work so we don't burn out too much on one muscle group. Um, really, we like to get the drop attack on the giant rat, and of course I missed him. Can we stagger him? Yeah, we can. Oh, he actually takes a surprising amount of damage. Okay. Giant Rat actually isn't so bad. Compared to the Giant Rat in Dark Souls 1, he's not bad at all. Slash through these guys. So, yeah. Okay. Whew. Feeling that a little bit. I am definitely not a fitness buff. Um... I've always hated exercise, but uh, a few months ago I stepped on the scale, or yeah, about four months ago I stepped on the scale. I was the heaviest I'd ever been by like 20 pounds, and so kind of a wake-up call for me to get myself into shape. But alas, like I said, I just don't like working out, so this was <coughs> um, something that I had always been trying, or always been thinking about is, you know, what happens if we do you know, gaming exercise, um, a gaming exercise type thing. So definitely giving it a shot. And uh, it's been having, I've been having good success with it. Um, don't know why I was, that didn't block that. Um, I've been having good success with it. So that's not to say that it's a foolproof thing or anything like that. Uh, it's just to say that it works for me, so, and I wanted to share it. Ow. These guys. Oh. They're both here. Okay. Right, two of these guys. Oh, and the big chick's coming back, too. I wonder if there's like a safe zone over there that I can run to. I'm gonna give it a shot. Maybe we'll use these stairs to our advantage. So I don't see any guys up here. Oh, that was supposed to be a drop attack, but it wasn't enough room and there's a dog. Great. There's a drop attack. Oh, come on, we hit the wall. All right, one down. Oh, we have to be really careful on tag with that other guy, though. It's combos. That combo is pretty scary. There we go. <sighs> I'm probably losing a lot more health on these guys than I should, but. You know, we're just gonna enemy ahead. Yeah, no shit. Sure. Oh, that's a, is that a larger dog. Yeah, that is a slightly larger dog. Dogs are getting bigger. 
this one out. Maybe I'm just, uh, just making things up. My dog just seems slightly bigger than the other one. Oh. Anyways, they were guarding an alluring skull. Alluring skulls. Those... I haven't really been looking at items or item descriptions. Uh, I think those attract enemies. Yeah, attract certain types of enemies. So... Might be using that later. Um, oh, is that a... No, that's not a direction we can go. Just a dude chilling on a ledge that we're not going to bother with because it's a dude chilling on a ledge. So he can have his ledge. We're just going to proceed onward. Make sure there's nothing back here. Nothing in there. Okay. And, ooh, is this an entrance to... Place of the boss? Hey, there's a guy over there. Are you an enemy? You have a big scary weapon, but you're sitting down kind of like an NPC. Let's see what the notes say about you. No key ahead. Be wary of betrayal. <coughs> hmm. Another one of those unkindled, are you? All you faceless undead, behaving as if you deserve respect. Hey, I do deserve respect. I'm a strong, independent no undead zombie. Heed my words. If you've any sense, you go find a coffin to huddle up inside. I like his armor. You here, in this land of hollows. You're like a frail maiden on the front lines. If, like the others, you're fool enough to play the champion, then go on ahead. Trapes right past the abandoned church. You'll face death. And it won't be pretty. He has so much faith in us. I like broken. it. Time after time. <laughs> yeah. See, that's funny because since we're doing fitness unlocked every time we die, we do more and more workouts. So it actually does cause a bit of stress on our bodies. So if like the yeah. others, you're fool enough to play, then go on ahead. <laughs> Hopeless. The whole lot of you. Like little moths flittering towards a flame. <laughs> I want to kill him just for his armor, but... If, like the others, you can go on. Okay. <laughs> Anyways. So he's guarding... Ah, another NPC. That doesn't open from... Great. Okay, so... Maybe he's not. Maybe he's just waiting to ambush her when she comes out? I don't know. <clears throat> Assume it's a her, because it's long, flowy attire. So maybe we'll go around and be able to find her. No comfort ahead. I'm assuming because boss ahead. Mm, no, it's just pretty place. Oh, there's a lift. It's an elevator. And a uh, friend. Ah, oh, friend indeed. What's up, Siggy? Is it Sigmire of Katarina from Dark Souls 1? Hmm. Ah, it is. Hmm. 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 Oh. Pardon me, I was absorbed in thought. <laughs> you always are. I am Siegbert of Katarina. Ziegbert. To be honest, I'm in a bit of a pickle. Yeah, you always are. You're Have a bit you of ever an onion, walked actually. near a white birch only to be struck by a great arrow? I wasn't struck, but well, if I'm shot not at. mistaken, they come from this tower. Good to know. Whoever it is, I'm sure I can talk some sense into them. But I have to find a way up. And that's just the trouble. This lift only goes down, you see, and... Uh, mm. Well, that doesn't get me anywhere. Hmm. Hmm. This lift only with a little warming up. Eventually. No. No. I've got to use my head and think. <clears> hmm. <throat> so this is a character from Dark Souls 1 who you would, uh help from time to time he'd always find himself in a bit of a pickle and you would uh 
be helping him out. Um, you know, you'd help him out of little scrapes here and there, either by killing enemies or by helping to solve these little puzzles. So, this lift oh, with a little. I okay, mm. so this one looks pretty easy. So normally with lifts in this, oh, there is a lever there. Huh. Well, so this lift only goes up or only goes down. So if we were to like step on this and step off, I'm kind of curious what's down there, anyways. But we're gonna help out Siggy first here because. He is favorite. There we go. This lift with a little. Oh. Hmm. <coughs> yep. We step on this, and up we go. That's easy enough. Come on, Sigward. He wasn't exactly the brightest guy either. So. <sighs> Not to say some of these puzzles, puzzles, quote unquote, are uh, are easy, but just. Usually they're pretty straightforward, so. So anyway, so apparently at the top of this tower, <coughs> we're gonna find the dude that was shooting at us. Oh, yeah, there he is. Uh, we can't walk onto him, though. So, do we, do we talk to him? Yeah, we do. Who are you? Uh, make peace. I help anytime. Cool. Young, white branch. I help. Anytime. So, I help. Does that mean he won't shoot us anymore? If so, that was easy. I'm um, gonna go ahead and leave him alone for now. I mean, maybe we'll kill him later for an item, but I'm probably not gonna kill that guy because he seems nice. I mean, hopefully he won't shoot us next time. I wonder if the branch is something that, like... Hmm. Uh... Just heard him. Hmm. Is he, like, half... Oh, yeah, he's not here anymore. He's, like, halfway. I have to jump off the elevator. All again, Dark Souls 1. You know, there's usually spots where you can jump off the elevator halfway points. Okay. Looks like we have to jump off the other side. <coughs> Let's try this one more time. Is that it? Right there? Hmm. No, there it is. Okay. Here we go. I'll try not to die from falling here. Hmm. There we go. A little bit of fall damage. Could have rolled off probably for less damage, but... Hello! Hmm. Hmm. Ah! Oh! Don't disappear like that. You have me downright worried. Ooh, that's a... But thanks to you, an epiphany has struck me that's square clean. in the head. I've unraveled the riddle of this inscrutable lift. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> On some days, I begin to doubt myself. Oh, don't do that. I went up the tower, so I thought, then somehow ended up here. I'm not exactly sure what happened. Anyhow, do you see that? I do. That humongous <laughs> beast. I'm no coward and I have a steady hand, but that thing makes my skin crawl. How now? Think twice before you go down that road. I could try talking mm. some sense into him. Yeah, it works for the last guy. No, I think not. Is far too overheated. I've got to use my head and think. Hmm. Hmm. I could try to. Mm -hmm. I. Hmm. Okay. Well. So if he's like he was in the last game, <coughs> um, when you're doing his quest quest line in the original Dark Souls, um, towards the end you can, um, there's a point in it where, like, all throughout the game he's got to use his head to get out of these situations, and there's things there, and you, you save him. But towards the end he kind of gets tired of being saved and charges into battle. Um, and is really happy about it. So, maybe, if we simply attack this guy, he'll come and help us like he did in Dark Souls 1. That's my hope, because otherwise we're probably going to die. Also, 